Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. This is Project Sam. Today I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday on the battery box. So come along for the ride. Come on. Let's go work on the truck. Come on. We'll weld set my promise. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Like braids. I just put this in, skinned it. You guys can see these, these are spot welds. I just turned the welder up to weld this on. <laughs> and burned it to the plate. Works really good. So anyway, I need to make some backing towards this backing over here. And I gotta make some that go this way and that way. I've decided that I'm gonna keep the uh, original battery box hold open and slide the battery in from that way if I have to move it. That way I don't have to take off the running board which would have been retarded. So. What I'm gonna do is uh, mock the battery up in there and then get some measurements and then I'll start welding in some steel, babies. Uh, 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 oh, it's heavy, it's heavy. I'm not lying, it's heavy. Okay. Batteries in there, man. Yeah, man, I and I be saying this in there. Perfect. A little massaging with a hammer and I'm good to go, baby. Trying to. Welding will help. When it shakes the truck, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Don't burn the garage down, dude. Hi, people. Apparently, there's some dude that's freaking out my neighbors. Some ladies just stopped by and said, hey, there's this guy sitting up there acting all weird. So I'm going to go out and go ask him what the fuck he's doing. And you guys are coming along. Apparently, that's the dude. Oops. Let's zoom in. He's hiding under that tree. I got a great big knife on me. So if he acts stupid, I'm going to stick it in him. It's a license plate. You want to roll your window down for a second? No, it's okay. My name's Dan Bethel. I live down there. My neighbors came down and said, you've been sitting here for two days playing on the cell phone. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for a car back there. They called the cops let them know I was here. I'm a car repossessor. Okay, because they're going to call the cops on you. That's fine. Now that I got your face on film, I'll show it to them in case there's a problem. Apparently the dude's looking to repo somebody's car across the street, so who am I to say he's not? But I called the ladies up that were worried about him and said go ahead call the cops on him anyway. And then if there's a problem, I got video evidence of it, I'll put it on YouTube. You can go find the dude. I got a picture of his face. The point is, people, the government's kind of like that too. They do mysterious things, they don't always tell you what's going on. Just face it, don't be afraid. What's the worst that could happen? You could die for believing in something or helping somebody? Psh, it's worth it. It's back to the work on the truck. Babies. Sparky Hardway showed up and wanted to give me some two bits on my oh, platform here. It's pretty much done. Well, it up the thing. He thinks it's stupid. That's the stupidest shit that I've ever seen. He moved it, I already measured it. He moved it eight fucking inches. Right. Eight inches. But after the pipe bend's done, 
it's going to come over here in this way, getting totally away from that instead of sitting on it. So how, I, how I, is I that? I guarantee huh? it ain't going to do shit. What you're going to do is burn up your fucking shit. Instead of, moving it, instead of moving your exhaust pipe like I told you to do, now you We are going to move the exhaust pipe. No matter, man. You're only moving the battery eight inches. You so you did all of yet. this. You got to butcher whack that. Yeah. So you made a big mess instead of just moving the exhaust pipe. I'm going to move you, the exhaust you're pipe. You're stupid, and I'm telling you, you're stupid. Mark my words, you're, you're stupid. You should have listened. Yeah. You should cut that out, put your shit back, fix your exhaust pipe, and stop. No. Cutting up your, your running boards and stuff, that's stupid. Sure. That is stupid. Just mark my words, it's stupid. You're a retard for doing it. <laughs> I mean, oh, moved it eight inches. What good is that? Are you man? jealous of my eight inches, Joe? No, man. I'm telling you, your eight inches is inadequate. It, it's, it, it, it's stupid. Yeah, whatever. All right, people, I mocked up the running board, welded on an extra set of square stock because I'm going to build a panel here that has a door on it for an access to get to. So even when the door is open, you can't see it. So, yeah. All right, people, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out, babies.